Hello everyone, it's Roy Man. Welcome back to Pokemon Ranger Shadows of Almia. Last time! We save Isaac, but we lost the yellow gem. And now this time, we're gonna go and try to retrieve the yellow gem. Oh yeah, not to mention. Voicemail, voicemail! Sven here! You're in the tower? Impatience breeds mistakes. Be careful. This is Wendy here. According to the tower's blueprints, the barrier has three separate layers. Each of those layers appear to be controlled from a different floor. Wendy's got it right. There are three barrier control floors above us. I didn't design the barrier system, but I know how most of it is set up. Each floor, there will be a circuit ball that feeds power to a barrier layer. There's only one problem. Well, actually three. Each circuit ball is guarded by all three troublesome executives, the Sinus Trio. Okay, so other than that... Oh, hi, Alakazam. We can now capture Pokemon that are now under control. For example, if I can get to one of them. Please tell me. Okay, good. Let's not get shocked there. We no longer have to worry about Pokemon being under control of the Giga Remos, or whatever this aura is now. We can capture... Uh, do I really want Alakazam? Personally, of how tough it is, I'm just gonna pass. This is all through co Core Computer. This is all through Core Computer. The Incredible Machine's power level is currently 1. Power needed for level 2 is 50%. I repeat, 50%. Power is rising steadily. There are no abnormalities. Oh no, we're running out of time. The Incredible Machine has th three power levels. 1 through 3. It's going to hit level 2 soon. At level 3, Almi is going to be in serious trouble. Okay, so basically, actually, right on. I might actually. The beam system won't turn off even when I get close. The system isn't recognizing me. We're going to have to stop it ourselves. The system circuit ball has to be destroyed for us to keep going up. Do I need to have a certain Pokemon with me? The yellow barrier layer control room is in here. Heath, who wears yellow outfits, should be in charge here. Are you ready? Uh, ready. What's the worst thing that they can throw at us? Let's go in then. I'm hearing someone coming in! But I not smelling someone bad. They are not being our people, I can telling. You thinking so too, my cute Riparier. You, Ranger, again you coming? Even you bringing Professor Isaac, the traitor? You two coming into turning off barrier system, you are. Breaking this circuit ball is what you're intentioning on doing. No, cannot let you doing that. I'm saying no. Allowing not so. Gurrah! Gurrah! So, we have our first little encounter with a boss, Riparier. Just like most ground and rock type Pokemon, they like to use boulders. Or sometimes slam down on the ground. If you can time it correctly. But watch out for a lot of moves. Especially when it does that. But right now, so far, it's being easy. Which is right now good for us. Like we, for this one, we just have to time when the rocks come down. Circle. 
And, wow, this Rhyperia is very easy. Like, it's one of his easiest Pokemon to take care of. There we go. That's one down. Rhyperior. It lets loose shockwaves to attack. It also triggers rock falls. It is part of the ground group. Pokeassist ground. Field move. It doesn't have one. And I will hopefully take a level up. No. Okay. Losing again and again. Depressing me. Losing is. Cannot be showing my face to boss in this way now. Oh, but then, I think in my pride gone. But that's alright. Important more is the barrier system, not pride for me. Not worrying, that barrier system is not break easy. But, I also planning ahead when being here, waiting with circuit ball. I fooling with it. And put it on it, a secret thing for a trap. No, 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 never mind. I'm not saying bye bye, adios. To be honest, out of all the Sinus trios, he's the most successful one. That guy's such a joke. He's probably programmed the circuit ball so it can't be hit with a target clear. But I guess who taught Keith, taught Heath and the others to, to program? I think he forgot that it was me. And bingo, see? Trapped his arm in 1.38 seconds. You should be able to use target clear on this safety now. And what do we need for a target clear? Crush 3. I'm going to be back with a few Pokemon. Okay, so technically we never caught a Golem, so let's catch a Golem. Which is going to be a lot easier since we kind of ignored it during the whole desert arc of this. And that takes care of Golem. Golem! It hurls stones to attack. It also opens fissures in the ground. It is part of the rock group. Pokeassist Rock. Field move, crush four. And I believe that gives us our level up. Yes, it does. And I'll just enter back into this tower room here. I did also catch our ride on, so... We do have that now for future moves. The circuit ball shattered into tiny pieces. Thanks, Golem. See you again. And that takes care of the first floor, at least. This is Fen, circling overhead. Just confirmed the outside layer of the barrier to be gone. Two layers to go. Let's hurry to the next floor. Yeah, so, time to get to the next floor. Now, like I said, Heath has been actually one of the most successful ones. I'm not going to bother catching Golem because they're not going to do the same thing. If anything... Oh, hi, Arcanine. Are you going to be annoying? Yeah, I'll just say pass. What about other Pokemon? This is all through Core Computer! This is all through Core Computer! The Incredible Machine's power level is currently 1. Power needed for level 2 is 20%. I repeat, 20%. Power is rising steadily. There are no abnormal abnormalities. Wait, wasn't it at 50%? This isn't good. The system is charging. Power faster than I expected. But... Oh, hi, Primate. We might need Primate later. And... The, the red barrier layer control room is in there. The person in charge is Lavana, That awful woman who wears red. Are you ready? Oh, not yet. Are you seriously not gonna let me capture Absol? Fine, fine, fine. We'll go into the room, defeat Lavana. Okay, let's go in. And then we'll go capture Absol. Also, Lavana's the one that took the... Huh? There's no one here. We lucked out. Let's smash the circuit ball while we can. 
Well, hello there! Sneaking around and avoiding my eye, you seem to be having fun. Oh, well, if it isn't my dar darling computer teacher. You realize your mistakes and you've come to apologize. I take it. And because you were so embarrassed, you brought your ranger friend as well. You're as predictable as ever, Lavana. You're no for w one for sarcasm, little boy. I know you're here to disable the barrier. You're about to, about ten years too early. Make mortar! Burn that awareness into their heads! Of course you have to do a pour. Pose. Make more turn. Yeah, that's... Yeah, they stole the yellow gem. Uh, can we get our yellow gem back? But we have Meg Mortar now. So, I don't believe this one's going to be... This one's full of explosions! And fire pillars. Lovely. If anything, capture some of the rock and ground type Pokemon on the previous floor. Otherwise, this is just another easy one if you can just get past the whole explosions. Otherwise, I will try to save up my Pokemon for something else. Otherwise, this little fire cone thing really actually hurts it more than... It Yeah, all I have to do is just charge up and it should be good and dead. And just waiting for it to stop burning so we can go and capture it. So Riparia was easy. Magmortar was not that much of a challenge. We just had to be patient with it. Magmortar! It lets loose flames from its hands. It also has an explosive attack. It's part of the fire group. Pokia says fire. Field move, burn five. And we'll take a lot of XP with that. Can we get our yellow gem back? This is really happening. I should lose. It really happened? What? The yellow gem? I don't have it! That thing's too heavy to carry around! Oh, lovely. Okay, let's keep moving. You're just arming the trap. Haha! <laughs> this time it took only 1.0 seconds. Lavana's. Why did they use that one on the one <laughs> member who's a female? Lavana's trap program was no big deal either. <laughs> you can target clear it now. Uh, what do we need? I believe it's actually soak. Was there a Pokemon out there that had soak? Excuse me while I go check the Pokemon that I don't clearly have for this. One Vaporeon and a few Pokemon tackling into us later. Apparently using water on an electric ball is actually a very brilliant idea. And especially soaking it actually makes it shatter. Which, that is the second barrier taken down. This is one Dean calling from overhead. The second layer of the barrier went out. Good going, Darian. There's only one layer left to the barrier. We're almost done. There's only one, there's only the blue layer. The barrier left to take down. Okay, so I'm going to try to keep Rhydon as best as I can. Otherwise, this is all through co core computer. This is all through co core computer. The incredible machine's power level is currently 1. Power needed for level 2 is 10%. I repeat, 10%. Power is rising steadily. There are no abnormal... Normal abnormalities. The system seems to be acting up, 
but it's almost at level two. We can't waste any time him at all. And in the third layer, we have Vaporeon, which is a Pokemon I'm not going to deal with right now. More or less, for this floor, I would recommend this is the last of the barrier control rooms. You probably guessed it already, but the boss here is Ice, who wears blue. He's the leader of the Sinus Trio. Don't get careless around him. Are you ready? Yes, I am. All right, let's go. Okay, Ice. Hey there, Top Ranger. And big hello to our computer teacher, the boy genius, Isaac. Welcome to Ultra Tower. Very soon now, the date will change. Yes, a new era is dawning in Almia. Join me in counting down the seconds to Almia's new beginning. As you know, I've always been a pacifist. It's just the way I am. And of course you dab. I'm doing this for peace! Galade, get these interlopers off the premises! Guzzle us wing! I don't think I'm doing the Pokemon sounds justice. But we now have Gallade, which might be the toughest of the three bosses we have faced so far. Okay, Gallade, let's see what you're made of. You teleport! And you make those things. Okay, since you teleport... What it would be the best move to use on you? Obviously not dark. I'm gonna save that for later. Uh, Pasarichu, if you could do us a favor. There we go. Okay, let's just quickly circle around him before that happens. Oh, wow. I think we just made him angry. Okay, and oh, ouch! That does seven points of damage. Right, you, Pasarichu, if you could do me a favor and paralyze him. Thank you. That takes care of Galade. Galade it attacks with gusts of. L luminous wind and strange orbs. It also fakes attacks. It's part of the fighting group. Pokey says fighting. Field move cut five. Now, out of all the, these three boss Pokemon we went, why is Rhyperia the only one that does not have a field move? What the? Brought down by some kids? Sorry, Ice. I like a look at your lame booby trap program. Huh? This is weird. This is the amateur hour program that I th taught the trio. <laughs> I get the last laugh after all. Isaac, I wasn't satisfied by that simple program you taught us. I studied programming like there was no tomorrow. Studied every day. That trap program's rather elegant, wouldn't you say? When I heard two thieves broke in, I got down to redoing that program in a hurry. This is the Ultra Core Computer! This is Ultra Core Computer! The incredible machine power level is currently 1. Power needed for level 2 is very little. I repeat, very little. Power is rising steadily. There are no 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 that you are almost out of time. The incredible machine's going to hit level two shortly. And the highest level three, it will be achieved when the date turns. It's going to be right on schedule with all through his birthday. Jerry, don't worry. I'll crack the trap program. 
Well, Isaac, you're still very bad at accepting hopeless situations. It's what made it possible to come up with that great invention, I guess you say. We failing at orders from boss! I'm back from fixing my makeup! Your booby trap programs were junk. They had amateur written all over them. Thanks to your ineptitude, these pests have crawled their way up here. Bah, money about your sorry efforts won't get the job done. Lend me your Pokemon! Take this three Pokemon Assault! Magmortar, Rhyperior, and Gallade also returns. Oh, very good! Goodly done! That Ranger, no chance of victory! That good, jabbering leader! He was actually making my throat hurt, hurt from just trying to do his voice. And we have a trio of Pokemon! Magmortar, Gallade, Rhyperior. So, what I'm going to recommend... Start off with one of your Pokemon! Obviously not dark. I say... Touch and... Ooh! I'm going to do that! I will pause them like there is no tomorrow! To be honest, we kind of wasted that, so, um... Do I really... Crobat is strong against Gallade. We have no choice. We gotta... There's a three Pokemon at... <sighs> Ouch! Okay, so... So that's what you do! Okay! Yeah, if you could not hit my... As you can see, we're actually getting a lot of them down. And I just realized how fast Crobat is. Ouch. Like I said, if you could not... Come on, Crobat, you can take them! Ouch. Unfortunately, we cannot use Magneton until Crobat is done. So, my advice is take as much as you can with this win attack. Actually, we could probably catch... Come on, I need just one, two... Okay, so this is just going to be like a normal battle against Magmortar. We have done this before. And we got Magmortar. Goodbye, you three! Our boss, he is on top of here. Protecting him, we must be doing. I'm too ashamed to be showing my face in the front of boss. Not after being beaten by this brat again. Your pair of spineless losers. That battle was only for show. Something to while away some time. Unless they can crack my trap program, the two of them are stuck here. But, hey! Isaac! Why did you just crack a grin? It... It can't be! You cracked my program?! That unbelievably fast?! Having Isaac, the boy genius, as an enemy is terrifying after all. Here, take this yellow gem. Just take it and get out of here. But promise, you won't come after me. Well, we got our yellow gem back. Nice! Darren recovered the yellow gem. Program disengage. Darian, I'm sorry I took so long. It's ready to for target clear now. And watch it be a Pokemon that we needed. Electrify. Uh, I'll be back with that Ampharos. I actually don't think we actually went and caught an Ampharos before, so... Yeah, don't do that. And do that. Ampharos! It attacks by scattering charged orbs of electricity and shooting electric bolts. Part of the electric group. Focus as electric. Field move, electrify three. And 
I'll meet you back on top. is about extremely wildly. It is easier to capture when it stops. Fighting. Part of the fighting group. Pokemon is fighting. Field of Crush 3. I'm planning on capturing some of these more Pokemon just to give some more Poke Assist on me. Now I mentioned it gives us a level up. One Ampharos later. Electrify! You think electrifying that would just give it more power? Thank you, Ampharos! I'll see you again! Darian, watch out! Are you alright? That trap had a time delay on it. I didn't expect Ice to have master programming that sophisticated. Those three have all chosen the wrong path. They're just like me. This is Fen circling overhead. The barrier's final layer is gone. The barrier's down. We can get close to the Shadow Crystal anytime we want. I'm worried about Keith, but he's a top ranger. He'll be all right. Just watch. Force Mail, Hasty's here. Spend and Wendy, can you hear me above the tower? Circling the tower, getting as close to it as possible. Even the two gems you have will have an effect on the shadow crystals. Roger! Understood. And so far it's just the landscape of that. But next time on Pokemon Ranger Shadows of Almia, we'll be finally completing this mission.